everyone, so today I am here with my very first Halloween video. I have never done a Halloween video since I started YouTube. Like, I've never done it before, so I'm really excited about this. And this video was actually requested by this subscriber right here. Don't really remember the name, but this is the subscriber. And so if you guys actually comment below telling me what you guys want to see, I will definitely try and do one of the videos. And this was actually a really fun look to do. Today I'm doing kind of a 70s workout type of girl. I'm going to show you guys how to get this like bright, colorful, fun look, which is great for parties, even for school. And the whole Halloween makeup, hair, and outfit was under $10 or something that I owned in my closet already and it's a really fun and easy look to do and I totally recommend you guys doing it. I was a 70s workout girl when I was in 8th grade I think. So hope you guys enjoy and comment below tell me what you guys want to see. Now let's get started with a very easy hair tutorial. You're going to start off with just your regular hair and a hairbrush and we're just going to get all the tangles out from the day. Then we're going to take a heat protectant, I'm using Aussie, and we're just going to run that through our hair so it stays protected. And then we're going to section off our hair in two parts, the top and the bottom, and then we're going to start flat ironing the bottom strands two inches at a time. My hair pretty much straightens itself, so it doesn't make really much of a difference. But now we're going to take the top section and once again straighten that. It's pretty self-explanatory, I think everyone knows how to do it, so I'm not going to really explain. Then we're going to take an elastic and tie up our hair in a little ponytail to the side of our head. And just kind of poof it so it's a little bit looser. Then we're going to take a neon headband and we're just going to put that on our heads. And that's pretty much all you need to do for the hair. Very simple, very cute, and it stays out of the way. Now time for the makeup. We're going to first start off with a nicely moisturized face and then we're going to take some concealer and mine is just in light medium and I'm just going to apply that to any problematic areas. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my middle finger. Now taking my CoverGirl foundation, I'm just going to apply it a little bit onto my hand and then I'm just going to take a stippling brush and start stippling that onto my face. And this is going to give a really kind of flawless finish. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color Sunlight and apply this with a fluffy brush all over my face. Then I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Light Bronzer and I'm going to put that on my face with a flat top brush. Then I'm going to take my Benefit Stay On Straight Primer and apply this to my lids, my inner corners, and my crease. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Then I'm going to take my Benefit RSVP Creamless Cream Eyeshadow and apply this all over my lid. And this is really going to act as a base for the shadow colors. Now I'm going to take my Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette. And I'm going to take this nice aquamarine color with a small shader brush. And I'm going to start applying this to my inner corners and halfway on my lid. Now we're going to take a medium shader brush with a nice electric blue and apply this to the other half of the lid. Take the blue again and make a V-shape at the corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take a deep purple with a flat brush and I'm going to start drawing a line out from the corner of my eyes. I'm going to take a nice light magenta color and apply this with an angled brush to the lower lash line. Then taking a shimmery green color and an angled brush, we're going to apply that under the purple. Then I'm going to take my very sexy eyeliner from Victoria's Secret, which is a nice metallic white color, and apply this to my inner corners. Then I'm going to take my Sephora liquid liner in black and just apply this to my upper lash line. Now I'm going to take a black liner and apply this to my lower lash line. Now 
Then it's time to curl the lashes. I'm going to be taking CoverGirl's Lash Blast Volume that's waterproof and apply this to my lashes. Now I'm going to take my NYC Big Apple Blush and apply this to my cheeks. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my fingers. Now it's time for the costume. So 70s is all about bright colors, so it's really easy to find pieces that you already have in your closet. Like this crop top that I had in my closet from Forever 21. I paired it with an Aeropostale tank top and some Reeboks running shorts. And the colors don't matter because really if they clash, they're cuter. And then I paired them with black tights. Over the black tights, I paired them with these Levi purple leg warmers. Now these are so awesome and so warm, so they'll keep you warm all night long. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and once again, comment below telling me what you guys want to see next on my Halloween DIY videos. Love you guys!